Okay, ladies and gents, uh, this is just going to be a short video uh, to show you the program from Backup and Recovery program from Dell, which I had on there before, but now it's not showing up. Oh, sorry, Dell Direct Key Creator. Uh, if you're having a problem with your uh, Dell product, your Dell laptop, um, you can put in your service tag on the uh, section of the Dell website. I'll uh, put a link in the description. Put your service tag number in, and Dell will give you a direct key. Uh, create a program to create a, uh, a bootable USB flash drive to be able to recover your uh, if you've got a corrupted uh, BCD or corrupted boot sector um, they've got an automation program that will uh, you put on a USB drive and boot it and it will uh, uh, <coughs> fix your boot files so you can boot um, back into your system um, but if, if that file is doing that then it'll give you it has steps three steps first step it does a boot um, recovery. Second step, it'll let you back up your files, and then the third step, it'll do a complete um, f default factory recovery from the um, recovery partition on your Dell hard drive. Um, so yeah, it's an excellent tool, um, especially considering um, you know Secure Boot is a real pain in the ass. Um, so make sure you have Secure Boot turned off when you use this program. Um, you can switch it back on afterwards after you've re recovered your um, your boot files or uh, uh, you've gone to the third step and done a full recovery but um, yeah, make sure you have it uh, switched off otherwise you have problems accessing the hard drive um, yeah because secure boot is a real pain in the ass when you're trying to recover boot files. I, d I did the normal Microsoft way um, through the uh, command prompt, you know, boot rec um, with the switches to try and recover and re actually doing a full um, delete or backup and rebuilding of the BCD just through command prompt, but I couldn't get it to work, so I went with the Dell option. But the only problem with the d direct key creator is that if you have any USB, because it, it creates a USB drive, but when you open the program, which I open it now, and you look in your list, it has USB, it shows up that there's a USB device connected, but they're all labeled the same. It's fucking stupid. It doesn't tell you, you know, which USB, and I selected the wrong one, f forgetting that I had a USB, external USB drive plugged in, and then it pretty much wiped out my, um, it tried to reformat my USB, uh, external USB Western Digital 2 terabyte drive, so luckily I cancelled that, and um, now I'm having to use Recover to um, recover my files to another, to a Seagate 2 terabyte external USB drive, because if you're trying to use Recover to recover files back to the same drive, it can cause issues, and I had problems with recover freezing about halfway through and I could tell that it was frozen and it wasn't working because uh, I could in my uh, uh, drives meter um, widget on the desktop I could see that there was on the Western Digital 2 terabyte drive there was no activity up or down on that drive so also too my recover was out of date um, so I updated uh, the program uh, and uh, yeah, it seems to be working good now, seems to have fixed the freezing issues, so um, yeah, just be aware of that if you, it's a good program, like it worked, it because it was for a customer, um, it, it worked great, uh, and it did, did what it was advertised to do, and you know, I'm very happy with it, but not separately listing your USB devices is a uh, yeah, it's absolutely ridiculous. So just be aware of that if you're going to use uh, this recovery program. Yeah, like I said, it's a really good recovery program, but yeah, it's been poorly, poorly coded, and I I'm not getting any. I can't see any difference. Those are 
one of those drives is my Western Digital 2 terabyte external drive and the other one is the Seagate but they're labeled the same so I have no clue which one and if I plugged in a USB drive it would come up with a third device but it would still be listed the same so yeah just make sure if you're going to use this program don't have any other external USB drives plugged in except the flash drive that you want to flash with the recovery and restore software from Dell to be able to boot off of so yeah just a warning if you're going to use this software and uh, yeah uh, I'll put a link in the uh, description below and uh, you can put your service tag in for your Dell machine and it's honestly the I found it the best and easiest way to do it is to use the Dell tool um, it's it, apart from the aforementioned issues here it's actually a pretty good tool so uh, yeah um, click the link in the description put your service tag in from your Dell machine um, make sure you have any this is this is very important make sure you don't have any other USB drives plugged into the system uh, except for the flash drive that you want to turn into the bootable drive with the recovery and restore software and um, yeah and go from there so uh, thank you for watching this video and uh, please like and subscribe